We'll start with a new PowerPoint presentation and start by eliminating the title boxes. Next we'll open up a browser and then we're going to do a Google search. Uh, I usually look for something kind of relaxing. I like to have a GIF in there so there's a little bit of movement. And then we can go through, look and see what's available. You can click on one and look and see what the motion is. This one has a little bit more motion than I would prefer. So I want to continue looking. Okay. This one doesn't have quite as much as I like to have. Okay, this one looks good. So now I right click on it. And I'm just going to copy the image. Then I go back to my PowerPoint presentation and hit Control V. And then I'm just going to fit it to the size of the slide. Now we can click on the presentation and see how it's going to look. Okay, that looks good to me. So now I'm going to end that. And we're going to put in a text box. And I like looking for an area where there's going to be a good contrast. And here's where we'll type in our bell ringer. Alright, with the black text, we can't see it very well, so I'm going to go in. I click on the box. I want to change the text color to white. Then I want to make it bold. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. So I'll expand my box some. So that would work. But I like going with a little bit larger letters. Okay, now I have my text set. Again, I'm going to check and see how it looks. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, so now I want to add my countdown timer. So I want to go back to my browser, and this time I'm going to go to YouTube. I'll type in my search term. And so this time I'm looking for a countdown timer, and I'm just going to go with a five minute one. And I like to have one that has a sound at the end to indicate that the time is up. And on this one, I'm just going to go with a basic five minute timer. Now I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to copy the video URL. I want to give credit to the person who uploaded this. All right. So now I'm going to go to a video downloader and there are several different ones. This is just happens to be the one that I use. I paste in the video URL. Then I'm going to download it. Then I'm going to click on Show in Folder. And this is going to show me the folder address. This way I know exactly where to look for it if I need to find it again.
Okay, so I'm going to open up the PowerPoint. Then I'm going to open up my folder. And then I just drag the video of the five minute timer over onto the PowerPoint slide. Okay, it's a little bit big, so I'm going to adjust the size of it. And then decide where to place it. Now, once you've adjusted the size, you can put it anywhere on the slide that you want to. I just pretty much stick with the bottom right hand corner. Now, I want to click on the playback options and I want the timer to start on the click. Again, we can see what it looks like. And I can come over and start my timer. Now, if I wanted a different time, I can always just move the slider and I can set it to three minutes, two minutes, wherever we want to. And then click the start button. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a five minute timer. And if you think you need more than five minutes, we could put a 10 minute timer in there and adjust the time from anywhere to zero to 10 minutes. Now I'm gonna move it down close to zero just so I can hear what the chime sounds like at the end. And you can stop right there with just the text and the timer. But if you want to add the music, we're going to go back to YouTube. And we'll type in a search term for whatever type of music you want. I just like something kind of soft and relaxing. And scroll through our choices. If we listen to the piano music here. It's not really exactly what I'm looking for, so I'll try something else. And according to this, this is the most relaxing music ever. So let's give this one a try. Okay, I think this one will work. So again, I'm going to right click, copy the video URL post it into my downloader. We'll download it. Again, I want to show it in the folder. That way it's already highlighted for me. So when I want to move it over to the PowerPoint, I can just drag it over. I move it onto the slide. Now in this one I'm going to click on playback and I want to play back automatically so I don't have to click on it. So as soon as we open the slide, It'll play automatically. Now I'm going to move it to the back. I right click on it, click move to back. That's going to hide the slide. Now again, we'll start the slideshow. Looks good, sounds good. I can click on my timer. And now we've got a slide, it has our bell ringer on it. We've got a little bit of soft music and a timer going. Okay, on this one I put a little bit different timer on it. Again, you have lots of choices with the videos, but this one's a longer one. So now if we click on this one, we can adjust the time on our slide by clicking on Trim Video. And so we can set it for whatever time we want on that particular slide. So you can go with six and a half minutes, you can go two minutes, three minutes. So again, it doesn't matter how long the timer is, you can always set it for a shorter time and then save it.
And that's all there is to adding a little bit of a background and a timer to a PowerPoint presentation to start your bell ringer.